families, adults and children. An anguished Volodymyr Zelensky, just back from Bucha, accused Russian troops of gunning down hundreds of defenseless Ukrainian civilians for pleasure. CBS's Laura Podesta. New sanctions expected today will ban investment in Russia and impose additional penalties on government officials and their family members. Reports say the U.N. General Assembly will vote tomorrow to suspend Russia from the U.N. Human Rights Council. Here in the U.S., police in South Carolina are investigating a shooting at an industrial plant in Anderson County. Sergeant J.T. Foster. The suspected gunman entered and started firing at and towards some of the uh, employees here. He says the shooter wounded two workers before he shot and killed himself. The gunman's believed to be a former employee. Another round of deadly storms has snaked through the south. CBS's Jim Crisula. The storms claimed two lives. Georgia. Dozens were hurt and damage widespread. Stephen lives in hard hit Bryan County, Georgia, outside Savannah. It's carnage. I mean, houses and trucks and trailers literally lifted and thrown into ditches against homes. More severe weather, including tornadoes, will threaten much of the southeast again today. Some people are considering second booster shots against COVID. Worth it? CBS's Linda Gradstein is in Jerusalem with results of Israeli research. The study focused on adults aged 60 and above. It found the booster was effective in the short term, but that effectiveness wanes after four weeks years after eight weeks. There's a push to keep kids from getting ants in their pants. Here's CBS's Wendy Gillette. An international panel of experts released new recommendations to counteract school-related sedentary behavior. They include movement breaks at least once every half hour for children ages 5 through 11, and at least once an hour for children 12 through 18. Ed Sheeran's won a copyright battle over a hit song. I'm in love with the shape of you. A judge in the UK has ruled the singer did not rip off parts of the tune from a Sammy Chokri song. Sheeran says he let the case go to trial to stop the the flood of lawsuits. As of this ruling, it means in the future baseless claims like this can be to end. S&P futures are down 40, Dow futures off 236. This is CBS News. There's always something new under the sun. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS. What's the most important part of a retirement plan? Income is king because we only need income. And if you don't have an income plan, you don't have a retirement plan. That's Kevin Ray, financial coach at Insight Folios. Kevin tells his listeners every week about the importance of income planning, minimizing taxes, and strategies to lead a worry-free retirement. Learn all about that and get financial review by calling 888-885-PLAN. That's 888-885-7526. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company presents... And Doug. Check it out, Lemu. A roadside carnival. Step right up, folks. Test your strength. Come see the fire-breathing baby. <laughs> Let's fan out and tell people that Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Look! An emu wearing sunglasses! Lemu, you're famous. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. If you owe the IRS ready to pay up, the IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who owe the IRS. So if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax problems now before it's too late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting you. Ask Optima about the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands and nobody knows this program better than they do optima is a plus rated with the better business bureau and they get results having resolved over a and for their clients get a fresh start call today for your free consultation call 800-364-9188 800-364-9188 optima tax relief some restrictions apply for complete details please visit optimataxrelief.com Live from the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom, this is WSGW News. Bright skies and 42 degrees at 9.05. Good morning, I'm Mike Kershaw.
has announced plans to tear down a former church building it owns in downtown Saginaw. The organization bought the uh, former First Baptist Church building at 322 North Jefferson in 2008 with plans to renovate it, which proved difficult. Attempts to sell the building never panned out, and they say it's now beyond repair and considered a potential danger to the community with a buckling foundation and failing roof. Demolition is expected to start later this month, and plans call for the health center to uh, create a green space on the site, incorporating remnants from the building to commemorate uh, downtown Saginaw's history. Those interested in salvaged items from the former church can contact Dora. Saginaw City Council heard from several residents from a Civitan Recreation Center after requests by STARS to uh, use it. WSGW's Rick Antonio has this report. We'll have that report in just a moment. Positive results downtown at Pride in Saginaw has announced Commander Kimberly Napoleon to serve as the Grand Marshal in this year's Memorial Day Parade. Here's Rick Antonio. Commander Napoleon is a 1986 graduate of Arthur Hill High School serving in Operations Just Cause Desert Shield member of the U.S. Army from 1987 until 1996. Stationed at Fort Bragg in North Carolina, she provided logistics support before moving to an active combat zone in Southwest Asia, where she was awarded the Bronze Star with Valor, the fourth highest medal awarded for heroism while serving. Commander Napoleon currently serves as a mentor with Saginaw County Veterans Justice Treatment Court, is a commissioner on the Soldiers and Sailors Relief County, and among other decorated roles, was elected the first female and African-American commander of the Disabled American Veterans Chapter 117 in its 75-year history from 2014 to 2016. Rick Antonio, News Radio 100.5 and 790. WSGW News Time. Steve Martin and Martin Short. You won't believe what they look like today. Live May 27th at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. When Marty and I fly together, we save a lot of money. Party fits conveniently in the overhead bin. Tickets start at $62 and on sale now at the box offices or online at etix.com. You look like Anderson Cooper froze to death on New Year's Eve. Party and play with your two favorite amigos, Steve Martin. Friday, May 27th at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. Details at soaringeaglecasino.com. As a Blue Cross Medicare member, managing your medications from home is simple. With our easy-to-use prescription drug plans, you can get the medicine your doctor pharmacy or even delivered by mail for the trusted care you need and want blue cross will be ways of getting it like we've been for more than 80 years blue cross blue shield of michigan confidence comes with every card to learn more visit bcbsm.com slash senior options wsgw news time 908 the weather forecast is next jurors are returning to of deliberations in the trial that centers on a plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. No verdict emerged yesterday. Adam Fox, Barry Croft Jr., Daniel Harris, and Branda Caserto are charged. Croft is from Delaware, while the others are from Michigan. Defense lawyers argue the group was manipulated by an informant who was taking direction from the FBI. The federal judge, Robert Jonker, turned down the jury's request for trial transcripts. He says the transcripts haven't been made and they typically aren't provided for jury deliberations. We've been hearing in, in about a teacher shortage in Michigan for some time. Tonight, experts in the field will take part in a town hall sponsored by uh, University of Michigan School of Education. Don Purak will uh, moderate the discussion. People begin their career as teachers, uh, but often find out it's a pretty tough road. Pay oftentimes is not keeping up with rising costs of living. The working conditions in schools can be very challenging, made more complicated by the pandemic. Purak says polarizing politics have also been a problem, something he suggests leaders were to eliminate from the classroom. When you see news happening, call the WSGW newsroom at 752-0790. It's 910. I'm Mike Perja. Your WSGW weatherology forecast. Cloudy for today, rain in the area. 53 degrees, wind southeasterly 5 to 15 miles per hour, higher gusts possible. Tonight, any rain ends early, otherwise it remains mostly cloudy. Lows drop to 39, wind south 5 to 10. Thursday, still mostly cloudy, chance for showers developing. Highs warm into the upper 40s to near 50. 
Thursday night, mainly cloudy. Lows fall back to 35. And then Friday, cloudy showers likely by afternoon and highs reach 46. This is meteorologist Phil Jensko with the WSGW Weatherology Forecast. Right now, it's 45. Now, the only local radio talk show offering you the chance to ask your questions and express your opinions from around your block to around the world. The Art Lewis Show is on 100.5 and 790 WSGW and online WSGW.com. Well, good morning to you and welcome. Welcome back to another edition of the Art Lewis Show here on WSGW from my second on Spirit Home Studio. Brought to you by Linda Shepard at Pinnacle Realty, 989-295-7713. Puts Linda to work for you for all of your residential and commercial real estate needs. Or visit her at the point, M46 and M47 in Saginaw Township, where you'll find Cafe 476 and its delicious soups and foods and beverages, too. Later on, after the 10 o'clock news, we'll talk to State Representative Rodney Wakeman. At 11 o'clock, James Kanders. He is the MBS Airport Manager. He will be our guest on Focus. But we're going to begin this hour finding out what's happening in the city of Midland. And we do that with the city manager of the city of Midland. We say good morning to Brad Kay. Brad, welcome back. Good morning, Art. Good to see you this morning. Ah, good to hear from you, too. Uh, question, because so much of it's, it's been in the news lately. I mean, you know, employment numbers all look good, you know, and the economy is doing well. But in reality, how is how is an entity like the city of Midland doing in finding employees? Well, we're like everybody else, I think, that numbers are good, like you said, that are out there actually finding people to, number one, uh, that are qualified for the positions, but number two, that are willing to take the positions can sometimes be challenges. Um, we've had that uh, ongoing for a period of time, all the way from some of our higher level positions, like our department directors, um, right through to entry level positions, and that continues. Um, some of the areas we see it most frequently, quite frankly, are in uh, areas like police and fire, where we used to have uh, a lot of applicants come in, and we, we still got a good number, but they're certainly down from what they are before, um, and it's a little bit more challenging to find the right people to bring into the community of service the community. Does so, the uh, a challenge. does the city pay for the police academy for those uh, that are interested? Yeah, we haven't done that in the past. Um, we've certainly thought of it, and if there was the right candidate that was to come along that we identified, we would certainly consider that, but... By and large, at this point in time, we continue to rely upon um, the opportunity, the, the quite frankly, the reputation of the department a little bit, and also the opportunity that it provides when people come to work for our city. So what's the, uh, the financial health of the city of Midland? How's it doing? We're actually in pretty good shape. Um, we've talked before, of course, about the flood and the COVID impacts um, on the city and the budget of the city, and we made a number of adjustments to make sure that we position ourselves well. And so those are going to, to put us in good stead kind of coming into the budget year that we're just starting right now as far as the public budget anyhow. Um, we've also been fortunate in the sense that although we didn't get a lot of money through uh, the ARPA funding that came from the federal government, um, we did get some money there that's going to help fill some of the budget holes that we had. For instance, when we had to shut down the pool for the summer and we lost all of the revenue on that front. Um, so those types of activities and those types of funds, I should say, are going to help us out a little bit as we move forward. So we're in good shape, but uh, we're certainly not flush with cash. And that uh, the ARPA money, because you can use it to fill holes, once you put it in your budget, it becomes unrestricted, right? Whereas if you spend, um, it, if you spend it directly on articles, you'd have to follow all the rules of ARPA. Yeah, it becomes a, a it's a complicated uh, formula, as for what I understand. We we and we talked about this before. We uh, although it sounds like we're griping a little bit, we've got just a little bit short of five point four million dollars total over two years. Um, but to put into comparison, our, our sister city down the road in Saginaw got almost ten times that. So um, so we've got an amount there that is going to help. But uh, again, as you said, once we put it into the funds. Purposes, um, as long in our purposes at least are really COVID and flood response related um, type activities. What's the uh, what's the health of downtown Midland? 
Well, I would say mixed at the moment. We're, we're certainly doing well. The businesses that are there are doing well, but we also have a couple of property vacancies um, that are, are activities in, in locations in particular that we would like to address. So we've got the old, uh, one of the historic buildings, the large building downtown that's been empty for a little while. It's up for sale. Um, as the pre, as the current owner, I should say, is looking to move on into different business ventures and, and a long time business uh, is also moving across town and that left another uh, vacancy in our downtown. So those ones are, are uh, a little bit troubling and certainly we'd like to see them refilled. Um, on the other hand, some of our downtown businesses, like our longer standing ones like Pizza Sands and our restaurants like Grazi and, and Molasses are doing well. And some of our retail stores uh, like Joyful Tantrum and some of the others um, report that they're doing well as, uh, also. So um, a little bit of a mixed message at the moment. Uh, do you have a date yet for closing some of the downtown streets and uh, forming the commons area again? Oh, uh, we do, and I don't have that date in front of me. But uh, but nonetheless, do that uh, coming up. It'll be around April to May is when we would close them up, and they're going to run through about October of this year. And we'll have a lot of the same activities and programming that we had last year. We're really looking forward to that. Um, Renee Smith is our new um, downtown event coordinator, and she's got a pretty exciting lineup of events uh, all scheduled out throughout the entire summer for us. Brad, there's been some talk uh, about uh, the reducing of the possibility of flooding, uh, flood alleviation. Uh, is the city involved in that? Is it city property that can actually be used to alleviate the floods? So that... Uh, it, it's a complicated answer. Right? <laughs> um, the, the, the short version, I suppose, of that is that there's a, what's called an advisory committee on infrastructure that was formed at the Midland Business Alliance level. And it involves a number of different entities from across our uh, regional area. And the city is certainly at the table with that and part of it. Um, however, what they're really looking at, that group, what we're really looking at is the upstream areas of the rivers, particularly the Stiblasi, uh Chippewa Pine Rivers, um, and looking at not only flooding in Midland, but flooding upstream and where the water is coming from and is the things that can be implemented that will take away, if not the flooding, at least the severity of the flooding that takes place when all this huge watershed drains down right through the city and under the trench. And so what the solutions are are unknown at this point in time. We're working with the Army Corps of Engineers on getting analysis and data from that. And hopefully, when that is completed, then we'll have an idea, and a, a, a list, if you will, of options that, that we can then consider and determine what are practical and what we might be able to actually implement. I don't think uh, the majority of the flood retention or detention or uh, prevention activities would be able to happen within the city just because of, um, in many of the areas, at least, where that might be able to be done. And so it is probably more of a Midland County uh, level properties that we might be looking at for that. But that's simply, that's nothing more than a, a guess based on where we are and the information we have to date. No timeline yet, though, huh? Unfortunately, no. It's uh, it's not a quick process. Uh, there's a, the Army Corps of Engineers is working, and, and we're uh, certainly working hand-in-hand hand with them as we collect all of that data. But until that comes back and that's completed, uh, we have no idea what the next steps might be or, like you say, the timeline that will follow. Yeah, I'm interested because I live along the Titabawassee in Thomas Township. So, I mean, I'm interested. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> you might have a bit of an interest in what we do eventually. Yeah. We'll Does have it back. It's, uh, it's a promise. <laughs> uh, what other infrastructure question? Roads. Uh, how are the streets in Midland? <laughs> Well, we're in good shape, I think, for the most part. We've got a pretty ambitious road construction or reconstruction schedule again this summer, which is the same that we've had for a number of years. And, and so it's the love-hate relationship, of course, with uh, not only ourselves, but certainly our residents here, where a lot of roads get torn up all summer long and people aren't happy about it because their paths of travel are disrupted and they have to find new ways sometimes to get to their locations or even on the back side of it, of course, what it does is it puts us in a little bit better position and continues to improve our roads. Uh, that said, we, we there's two limiting factors. One, of course, is our, our seasons. We don't have very much time in the summers to be able to do road construction. And number two is we can only do so much of it. So while there are roads that are out there that we would love to, to attack and, and get under control and perhaps put in a better position than they are right now, the reality is we can only do so much of it. So uh, we have to ask for patience as we continue to be aggressive as we can on those fronts. 
Any other uh, significant issues facing Midland these days? Uh, not issues per se. Certainly we've got uh, the normal activities. We've talked before about Riverside Place, which is our downtown senior living facility. And that was a flood victim. Um, our entire lower level was uh, decimated by that. And we're just at the point, uh, having worked through all the female, female rules and regulations, that we can reopen the lower level. And now we're moving on project on that one, which is the roof, which uh, during some of the past heavy rain events, pretty quickly uh, weren't working up to the capacity that it needs to. And so we're uh, in the process of identifying the funds for that, finding construction companies, quite frankly, that are willing to do the work um, and then get that project underway too. So th that's more of a industry-wide challenge that we're facing, just finding the people that are available and willing and ready to do the work itself, simply because there's so much work out there, uh, largely with the other funds that have been uh, passed around either at the state or federal level. And any thoughts uh, as to what's going to happen by the old farmer's market site down by the Tridge? Yeah, actually, that's, a, that's an area that we're studying. <laughs> we talk about studies a lot, but nonetheless, what we've had uh, discussions between the Midland Business Alliance, who runs the farmer's market, and the city who owns the structure, about what the future of that structure and the market is going to be there. And the decision was made before we start looking at the determining whether we make changes or renovations or additions or whatever to that, that the best thing to do is really to put forth a plan for the broader area down in around the tridge and the farmer's market itself so that we have a kind of a comprehensive coordinated plan in place. So we're kicking that off uh, this summer and, and hope to have a plan fairly quick. And then the goal would be to identify how the farmer's market and in particular the farmer's market structure fits into that overall goal and vision for that area. So um, we'll, we'll be, the market won't be downtown for this summer for that year, or in that location, at least this summer for that reason. But um, we're looking to bring it back, or I should say, for practically the MBA is looking to bring that back um, as soon as possible. All right, last question. The, the Loons are getting ready to play uh, this week. Uh, they kick off their season. What does having a, a, a minor league sports team in town mean to the city? Well, probably well, what you would imagine. Tremendous economic force within the city itself. There was a lot of discussion. I wasn't part of it, but certainly when they decided not only to come to town, but where they located in the city, um, there was a lot of discussion about what impact they could have. And by locating right on the edge of our downtown, um, towards the one end of our Main Street area, uh, what they do is they bring a tremendous amount of people into the into the core area of, of downtown Midland every time that there's a game. The spinoff benefits of that are, are certainly as you would expect with the restaurants being patronized, um, restaurants and bars and, and stores and everything else that are in that particular area get a lot of pass by traffic. And, of course, they benefit economically from that. Uh, but beyond that, uh, what isn't always well understood is that they're the baseball foundation that runs that operation is actually a nonprofit corporation. And they are established with the goal of providing economic development in downtown Midland. And so that's why when you see the Midland Baseball invested in or involved in certain projects in and around our downtown core, it's because that's really at the charter, at the heart of what they were established for. And so on the, on the front side, the people that are there, the economic benefits are tremendous. And on the back side, the economic profits that come from that operation get reinvested right back into our community. Um, and we wouldn't be where we are downtown, frankly, without them. Well, Brad, I want to thank you for spending a little time with us this morning. As always, always look forward to the conversations with you. I appreciate it, Art. Good to talk to you. Same here. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. You as well. Brad Kays, the Midland City Manager. We thank him for uh, joining us. We'll uh, have uh, more conversations with him down the road. We'll take a break. Come back. Open phones for the remainder of the hour. 989-752-6111, the number. We're proud to make Pioneer Sugar for you and your family. Proud to be found in your kitchen, the heart of your home. And it doesn't really matter sugar, whether it's with our granulated white, light brown, or soft confectioners. It's the memories you'll make using it that will matter the most. Pioneer Sugar, pure and all natural. Made from sugar beets grown right here. What could be sweeter than that? 
Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. Hey guys, there is some important news that all men should take very seriously. Your prostate health. Are you urinating more frequently? Are you waking up at night to urine? Tired of prostate pills that just don't work. Sound familiar? If you are one of the millions of men with prostate problems that are driving you nuts, there is some great news. Prostagenics is the all-natural product that beat over 157 other prostate supplements in lab tests and was rated the number one most powerful prostate supplement in the world. Number one, because it works. So why not try some Prostagenics and your prostate troubles will be a thing of the past. You'll get a great night's sleep and stop waking up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. To get your free bottle of Prostagenics, call now, 800-600-2020. That's 1-800-600-2020. Take advantage of our 90-day money-back guarantee. Call 800-600-2020. Do it now. I'm Elizabeth McDonald, and this is the Fox Business Report. Restaurant chain Dave & Buster's is buying... Main event, it's paying $835 million. Main event's chief executive Chris Morris is to become CEO of Dave & Buster's. Main event has 50 locations in the U.S. that include art bowling, laser tag, and hundreds of arcade games. Each chain will continue to operate independently. Cannabis company Tilray's quarter was mixed. Though shares are higher, Tilray also has revealed a deal with Whole Foods Market to sell its Manitoba Harvest hemp powders at Whole Foods locations. Stocks are under pressure for a second day after Fed Governor Lael Brainerd indicated the central bank will fight inflation with interest rate increases and pulling back stimulus at a rapid pace as soon as its May meeting. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Coselda, invested in you. When it matters, companies need more than just a delivery service. Cintas delivers full service and the reliability that Cintas service rep who understands your business, which means they deliver confidence and peace of mind too. For uniforms, cleaning essentials, mats, first aid and safety supplies, and fire protection services, discover the personal attention you get with Cintas. Oh, I'm ready! Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. With spring just around the corner, it's time to finish up those last few home projects we've been putting off. Hi, this is Sonia with Westside Decorating. Our new fresh coat paint and primer in one is scrubbable, makes any paint job go faster in less coats, and looks better than conventional latex paints. We've got new floors from Shaw, Tarquette, and Lakeshore. We offer up to 24 months with zero interest financing. Visit our showroom at 5789 State Street in Saginaw Township or call Westside Decorating Center 989-793-6182. When Gretchen Whitmer used tax dollars for hush money to cover up nursing home debt, billion dollar unemployment fraud. Annette Glenn pushed a bill banning tax finance gag orders on state employees. Paid for by Annette Glenn for State Senate. You could unlock more cash than you realize from your home's equity with a cash out refinance today. In the last year, average home values have gone up nearly 20%. And with Rocket Mortgage, you could unlock thousands in less than three weeks. But you've got to act right now before rates go up. So when you're looking to unlock the cash in your home, Rocket can. Call 8338-ROCKET today or go to rocketmortgage.com to get started. Rocket. Rates current as a 121221 Call for cost information and conditions. Equalizing lender license in all 50 states. The lowest consumer access. Hey, moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, WSGW and Fashion Square Mall are inviting you to bring out the kids and grandkids for some fun. Saturday, April 16th at Fashion Square Mall, it's our kids' world. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., three hours of activities and events sponsored by Francis family-friendly day for everyone powered by sarah automotive in saginaw enjoy the bounce houses brought to you by bouncing bellas and nbs international airport easter bunny pictures sponsored by freeland sports zone summer camps an easter egg hunt sponsored by lifechurchmichigan.com 
a stage for events sponsored by Capoco Credit Union with some prize giveaways, on-site vendors, and more. Something for all ages. It's our kids' world at Fashion Square Mall. Saturday, April 16th, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Presented by Fashion Square Mall and WSGW. Find information online at WSGW.com. First pitch to Miguel. Make it four for four. Ground ball single into center field. Four for four for Miguel Cabrera. The countdown is on. Two days until opening day. Your home for Detroit Tigers baseball is WSGW. All right, we're back with you here on the Art Lewis Show. Open phones for the remainder of the hour. Yes, I know baseball starts this weekend, starting Friday, opening uh, day for the Tigers hosting the Chicago White Sox. And as much as baseball is a national pastime and people love it, most sports eyes this weekend will turn to golf. Not because of the game and not because so many people play the sport, but two words, Tiger Woods. It is proven over the history of his career that when Tiger Woods plays in a tournament, the viewing audience triples, quadruples, significantly higher than normal times. And particularly now, we have a certain morbid curiosity in this country, uh, you know, when someone is severely injured and uh, can't wait to see, you know, what does he look like? How does he walk? How can he do it? Well, we are talking about a unique individual here, a very unique athlete. Tiger Woods, you'll remember about, what was it, 18 months ago, something like that, had a horrific car crash in California. So many broken bones and crushed areas of his leg that the doctors at one point considered amputation. Instead, they put rods and screws and bolts in his leg. Nuts and bolts, if you will. And he's the bionic man with his leg. And here we are. 18 months later, no one, not one single person would have been surprised if Woods said, well, I've had a great career, time to hang up the spikes. No one would have questioned it. Instead, the Masters starts tomorrow. He's already played a couple of practice rounds. He's going to play another nine today. And as Tiger Woods said in a press conference yesterday, it has nothing to do with his golf. He believes he has the swing, and he wouldn't be there if he didn't think he could win. And who's to doubt the great Tiger Woods? The issue he will have, as he said, is the simple task of walking one of the most difficult courses to walk in golf 72 holes of walking on a leg that's literally screwed together country's going to be watching now the key of course for the golf broadcasts to realize the huge audience is to make sure he makes the cut first. If he misses the cut, that shuts down the big TV audience for the weekend because Tiger won't be there. If he makes the cut, there will be a huge audience. You know, it's 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 an amazing testament to willpower. Anytime you're faced with a serious obstacle that may limit your mobility, your ability. I think we should all have a picture of Tiger Woods we can hang up and say to ourselves, if he can do it, I can do it. Now, I know we're not all athletes like Tiger Woods. Very few people, if any, in the world can do what Tiger Woods has done. 
but it's the willpower, it's the drive, it's the passion. If you take those things in your life and in what you're doing, you will do them well. Now, I know there are Tiger Woods detractors who don't like him for personal reasons, family problems and all of that. And that's understandable. I don't look at him that way. I'm judging him as an athlete. And I'm judging him as someone who has set a very high bar for the rest of the world. That's how I look at Tiger Woods. And to some degree, how he's overcome his personal problems. Sometimes not well. Another lesson for all of us, you know, how do you respond? How do you rebound? There are a lot of lessons in the Tiger Woods career. I wish him well. I would love nothing more than to see Tiger Woods win another green jacket. Can you imagine how much coverage there will be, not just in sports news, but in news in general? It's already happened on the major network newscasts. They've already talked about Tiger Woods returning to the Masters. So he's crossed the sports news barrier into the general news area. It's an amazing, amazing testament to willpower. So we'll see. But again, I'd love nothing more than to see Tiger Woods come back and win another green jacket. Wow. But who knows? Time will tell. Let's hope he makes it through the tournament in good shape one way or another. Lines open for you. We'll take a break. Whatever you'd like to chat about, you can give us a call on this Wednesday morning. Service Master by Fusen, your fire, water, and storm damage restoration experts. Did you know floodwaters have a tendency to cause damage quickly? Whether from sump pump failure after heavy rain and melting snow, an overflowing toilet, or a broken pipe, Service Master by Fusen will take fast action and prevent additional damage and costs. Getting it cleaned up and back. Job number one. Visit ServiceMasterByFusen.com or call them at 989-249-29. Service Master by Fusen, restoring peace of mind. Capoco Community Credit Union has you covered this summer for any of your lending needs. Home improvements? You're covered. Patio furniture? You're covered. How about a vacation? Covered. Maybe it's something that will make lasting memories, like a wedding. Yep, Capoco has loans to help you with all of those life-changing events. Any dream is possible when you let Capoco dream it with you. Capoco Community Credit Union, Bay City and Saginaw. Plan your summer now. Go online to capoco.org. Hometown feel and big time winning. That's Saginaw Eagles Landing, the place where everyone greets you with smile after smile. In the casino, at the restaurants, or in the hotel. This is a getaway that makes you feel right at home. And now, sports betting is here. That's right. You can bet on games in every season as you enjoy all the tasty food and live sports on TVs throughout the Creekside Lounge. Got a favorite? Got a hunch? Get to Saginaw Eagles Landing to wager on all the point spreads, props, parlays, and more. Sports betting puts you right in the action, and there's no better place to watch a game than the pre- Sports betting is just one more reason to get here. We've got hundreds of slots, great food, and a comfy place to stay. So come on in and see what the good times are all about. Saginaw Eagles Landing Casino and Hotel. Real fun, real friendly. You must be 18 and older to wager. Visit Saginaw-EaglesLandy.com for complete rules and details. Would you like a cleaning product that can be used in the garage, the laundry, and the kitchen, and save space in your cabinet? Hi, I'm Bruce Fabrizio, inventor of Simple Green. Concentrated all-purpose Simple Green is the answer for versatile cleaning throughout your home and garage. I'm so certain... If you're not 100% satisfied, I'll give you your money back. To learn more, visit us at SimpleGreen.com. Simple Green, Simple Green. Hello, this is Discover, and we take customer service very seriously. 
We know that if you have a question or concern about your credit card, that's a serious matter and you need to talk to a real person about it. So we offer around the clock access to seriously talented representatives in the USA. Again, it's a serious endeavor. The only funny thing about it is Bob. If you call us and Bob answers, you're in for a treat. Get 100% US-based customer service and talk to a real person day or night. Discover. The second off spirit play here. Curls back, fires, finds Smith, and shoots, hey. scores! Oh. Mitchell Smith, his second of the game. It's a Wednesday night edition of Saginaw Spirit Hockey. The Spirit hosts the London Knights tonight at the Dow Ben Center with complete coverage beginning at 6.50 p.m. on 100.5 FM News Radio WSGW. And great seats are still available for tonight's contest. For ticket information, visit SaginawSpirit.com. Saginaw Spirit Hockey is on WSGW. You are with WSGW in the premier kitchen and bath gallery showroom and design center studios. It's time to play WSGW's Baseball Bucks, sponsored by Stone Specialists. Right now, you can qualify to win the daily cash prize of $1,000 by entering the following word online at WSGW.com. The word this hour is Brewers, like in the baseball team, the Brewers. It's an Alpha Media company-wide contest. Must be 18 or older to play. One winner chosen each day. Complete rules at WSGW.com. Baseball Bucks presented by Stone Specialists and WSGW. All right, Lewis Show coming to you on this Wednesday morning. Here's a topic I want to talk about. You'll notice I'm staying away from heavy topics this morning. Tiger Woods. This one may be one of my favorite topics of all time to bring up. Because it has absolutely nothing to do with politics, with the world situation with COVID, with anything. It has to do with dogs. Puppy love. Seven out of 10 people in a recent survey of 2,000 people really do consider their dog their best friend. And spoil them, do they ever. This poll shows just how much we treasure that little furry four-foot companion. Uh, Most of the respondents, four out of five, say they pamper their dogs as much as possible because at least three-quarters of respondents consider their dogs a member of their family. And they are willing to go the extra mile for the pooch. 79% want to give their pups everything they need to feel loved. 80% say that it's important their dogs look good. So they take them to the salon at least five or six times a year. And what's really funny is they themselves don't go to the salon that often themselves but the dogs they go they love taking them for long walks and a large percentage take them with them even when they go out for simple errands go into the store come on pooch let's go for a ride I can guarantee that that happens in our house because we take Monkey out all the time and everywhere we go. It's uh, pretty amazing. Dog owners show their pups love by celebrating their birthdays, 57%. New toys, 56%. A party for their dogs, that we haven't done, 52%. Or a trip to hang out with their doggy friends, 49%. Three quarters of pet parents show their love by looking into the perfect items for their dogs. 76% spending nearly 300 hours a year look for the best treats and toys. We don't do that much. (laughs) That's a little much. Anyway, dogs are best friends. Carol is in Sheridan. Let's say good morning to Carol. 
good morning. Well, we had 140 pound golden, and uh-huh. it was very, very hairy. <laughs> <laughs> We've always had and we dogs. Had, and, yeah. we, and we put a shirt on him. Oh, I had a cat. It was around here. I hate. I just don't like cats. Um, we had a. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, but now the bunnies are after my tulips. So, but uh, yeah, she and we put a. Uh, we get a nice big uh, t-shirt and then put on her in the car, and then the hair wasn't quite so bad in the car. Um, the other morning, Monday morning, uh, the golf sponsors in it's at the Masters at Acosta, uh, kids that play golf. Yep. And you you didn't hear it. It was girls. Well, the boys did too. But there was a girl, and her, I think her name was uh, Mia Walsh. And then, or no, Mia, Mia Hammond and then Walsh. I, I wrote it down real quick. And each of them had like a 30-foot putt. They'd have different things so the kids could do. And each of those girls hit it twice. Yeah. In a row. And it was really fun. They were like the 13, 14 years old or, or you know, in the older group. Yep. Well, I'll tell you, Carol, I'm, I'm involved. I'm on the steering committee for the Great Lakes Bay Invitational, the ladies, the LPGA mm-hmm. event that Dow puts on. And I get to be the starter. And I stand there on the first tee watching the young women hit the golf ball. Oh, I thought you were 280, about that. 290. <laughs> I mean, they hit it. They hit it as well as any guy. Uh, it is amazing to see these young athletes. Young athletes, they are the best in the world. And, but why shouldn't the girls? And why girls? shouldn't they? Exactly. I absolutely agree with you. Absolutely. We're smarter agree. than guys are. I don't know. Why I don't know that I agree with that, but I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we can't play golf better. <laughs> Let's not years, get I carried away I now. <laughs> I thought I thought for a few years the Tigers should have a few girls they could play as well as the guys did. Well, you know that's that, that's a we talked about that this morning on the morning team show because Cracker Jacks <clears throat> is going to have Cracker Jills to celebrate women athletes at the ballparks. But there are no women athletes playing professional baseball right now, at least Major League Baseball. I don't know if there's any in the minors or not. I haven't heard of any. I know there's uh, some executives in baseball, female executives, but I don't know of any athletes. Uh, I have to, I have to look that up. Basketball. Well, basketball, sure. But they have separate league. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I went to Chicago by myself one time. I was very young, and there was a girl, her name was Kitty Mestermaker, and she was very, very tall, and so I took a bus. So every time I'd get on the bus, she was going to Chicago like myself, and I would make sure that she was in the line that I was to get on the right bus, but she was easy to find because she was <laughs> really, really tall. But there was quite a few around. I think the, the team was called the Shooting Stars that they were on, mm. and they were professional Great. basketball yeah, yeah, but that was fifty. That was fifty years ago. Yeah. But, uh, All right. But, and, and, but it was it was it was fun to see see these kids. They were really good. But these two girls come up and it was like a thirty foot putt, and they both good deal. Both of them right in the row, and they had to have a shoot off. And it was it was real fun. The Golf Channel they're at Augusta now, but yep, uh, <clears throat> the Golf Channel is a lot of fun. That's it is. Fun. I watch it quite a bit. I do. All right. Yeah, so, Excellent. Well, you guys take care. Stay you too. The rain. All right. <laughs> take care. Bye-bye, Carol. <laughs> Carol and Sheridan. And that opens our lines this morning for whatever you'd like to chat about. Do you have a dog? What kind of a dog do you have? I'm curious. We'll take a break, and then we'll be back with more on the Art Lewis Show. I'm talking to attorney Jerry Reif about estate planning. Jerry, how would you suggest I do it and keep it simple? Well, estate planning can be very complicated or very simple, depending upon what you want to do, but more importantly, when you do it. Let's figure out what you want. Well, I just want to make sure my stuff gets to the people I love. And that's simple enough. But when you have a lot of stuff like real estate, bank accounts, brokerage accounts, and IRAs, it can get more complicated. Whether planning is simple or complicated is less dependent upon what you want and much more dependent upon when you do it. Important when you do it. Sure. For example, if you do planning while you're healthy and understand the different options, it's relatively simple and far less expensive. All right. What makes estate planning expensive? When people do it without understanding, and then later on, they figure out that it's not what they really wanted, so they have to do it over. Understanding the options you have now while you're healthy is what enables you to keep it simple. Thanks, Jerry. If you want more information, register for an upcoming workshop. Visit jerryreiflawyer.com or call 989-790-1461 today. Are you aware that a goldfish's memory is three seconds long? (laughs) Who cares? Just be aware of the Powerball jackpot. (laughs) We're talking big. 
Wednesday's Powerball jackpot, $246 million. Exceed your expectations of what makes a great paint or stain with Pittsburgh Paints and Stains from Menards. Now all 11% off with some of the most advanced technology like enhanced UV resistances, dirt shedding protection, and true one coat coverage paint and primer in one. Finding your perfect paint or stain is easy. Everything, including Pittsburgh Paints and Stains, now at Menards. Good for April 9th. Savings are mail-in rebates. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Save big money at Menards. If you owe the IRS back taxes, then get ready to pay up. The IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who owe the IRS. So if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax problems now before it's too late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting you. Ask Optima about the... Biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands. And nobody knows this program better than they do. Optima is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. And they get results. Having resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get a fresh start. Call today for your free consultation. Call 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit Optima taxrelief.com you're the one who protects the flock and that requires an eye for detail because when safety and well-being are on the line it's the detail even when no one else is watching you see everything Granger gets you and we're here for you and all the ones who get it done with a wide range of safety products and solutions plus board certified safety consultants here to answer your questions call click Granger.com or just stop by Granger for the ones who get it done the WSGW Morning Team Show. The WSGW online poll involves Michigan's criminal justice system with former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, who did spend time in prison for perjury and obstruction of justice. He's promoting an initiative to allow prisoners an opportunity to reduce sentences. It's called the Good Time Ballot and sentence through productive activities such as taking college classes, anger management, rehab from substance abuse, even credit for being a veteran. Michigan is one of 11 states that do not have any earned time or good time laws in place for prison populations. Signature gathering is going on now to try and advance the initiative. Our poll question, would you support a law in Michigan to allow prisoners to reduce their sentences using a good time law or any earned time Yes, no, or you're not sure. Make your votes by going to WSW.com, scroll down the homepage, find the poll box, and access the vote that way. The Morning Team Show, weekdays 5.30 to 9 on W. On the next Markley Van Camp and Robin show. Well, it seems the Border Patrol has just gone platinum. What does that mean? They picked up their one millionth illegal in 2022. <laughs> Markley Van Camp and Robbins. Weekdays at noon on 100.5 and 790. News Radio WSGW. All right, we're back with you here on WSGW. Speaking of dogs, Hound Dog is with us from up in Ogaba. Hound Dog, good morning. Hey, sir, once again, it's an honor and a privilege. And, and I'm glad you're talking about what I'm saying. Um, yeah, dogs are great. Everybody treats them different. And there's, oh, I probably, I'm going to ruin your radio show again, but, but. Yeah, you know, and I'm glad you take monkey, you know, and uh, yeah, I got an unwanted double hell hound past the seagull, but he's he's in the back. This is not a Chevy Silverado I drive. It's a dog kennel, and he sleeps with me next to my opinion almost every night. He's seen it. You can turn him loose in a chicken coop, you know, but. I don't know. I don't want to take another caller. I'm sorry, but thanks for talking about dogs. It's, it's beautiful, man. I listen to you quite a bit. All right. Thanks, oh, Dog. Yeah, take care, sir. Thank, Thank you. You bet. Bye-bye now. Dogs, uh, you know, it's uh, it's an animal that uh, emotes uh, great emotion in us. Uh, anyone who's ever had to... Uh, to uh, at the end of one of those animals' lives, put them down, knows how difficult it is. 
Uh, and we've had that experience. Uh, we had uh, at one time three. We had to put two down within 60 days or less of each other. They were 15 years old. And uh, you, you don't want to see them suffer, you know, and that's the test. Uh, there are many dogs that are elderly in dog years. But if they're not suffering, they can have maladies, just like we as humans have maladies. But if we can get along and and not suffer. So no one wants to see an animal suffer. And that's when you make the decision to put them out of the misery. It's a very difficult thing to do. Because these dogs, you know, we... My, my wife will tell you she likes dogs better than people. <laughs> and I, and I, I can guarantee you that's probably true. Uh, we have, we have certain friends that we associate with and, you know, we socialize with, but for the most part, we're kind of learners in a way. I mean, you know, we, we're homebodies. We spend a lot of time at home and we do it with our dog. We want to spend a lot of quality time with our dog watching him sleep <laughs> because he's an expert at it. I'll bet you monkey sleeps where humans are expected to sleep eight hours and be up for the other 16. I think monkey's clock is reversed. I think he sleeps the 16 and maybe he's up for eight. <laughs> But he is so much fun to play with and watch and and, uh, and just, you know, you never know what antics he's going to be into next. You do know one thing about him, though. He's a thief. <laughs> Don't leave anything around because he will steal it, run under the bed and hide it. That's our monkey. All right, we're going to take our last break and then we'll be back to close out this hour. Tell you what's ahead next. M&R Garage Door wants to invite everyone to see what's new with garage doors they want to remind you that home experts agree that replacing your old garage door with an mnr door can instantly transform the look and curb appeal of your home more than any other exterior improvement they can professionally install your garage door and opener mnr has trained staff to stand behind and warranty their work call 894-0971 that's 894-0 mnr garage door service is their specialty when i grow up I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up, I want to be a kid's first computer. I want to be a I want to be a football stadium. I want to be a bike that races around the country. I want to be a bench on a forest trail. When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle... Give your garbage another life. Recycle. Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. Brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. My name is Dale Pazinski, and this is how I live United. I volunteer with United Way, helping the homeless in my community by teaching computer skills and resume to save on their very own USB drive. It's huge when somebody says, hey man, that job that you helped me apply for, I got it. My name is Dale Pazinski. I help people achieve financial independence. So I don't just wear the shirt, I love it. Give, advocate, volunteer, Live United. Go to liveunited.org. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. Just the next guy, but maybe free-range chickens in the office wasn't a great idea. We should just use Easy Cater. Breakfast, lunch, treats, on time, and is ordered. And I bet they never preen their feathers in the conference room without reserving it first. <laughs> There's a clipboard outside the door. You put your name. It's not that hard, guys. Some food. But Easy Cater just does. Food for work, on time, and as ordered from over 82,000 restaurants. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. Do you know what people see when they Google you? Search engines don't always get it right. And when they're wrong, it's your reputation on the line. So what do you do when you don't agree with your search results? Call Reputation Defender at 800 400 81. Reputation Defender is one of the most trusted names in online reputation repair. We have over a decade of experience in fixing people's search results, and we can help you too. Using cutting edge approaches, Reputation Defender pushes unflattering information down to lower pages of your search results, where few people ever look. We also promote the good stuff. 
top, letting you put your best foot forward. Your good name is too valuable to leave to the whims of a Google algorithm. You owe it to yourself to take control with Reputation Defender. Visit www.reputation. 800-401-6681 for free advice on your situation. That's 800-401-6681. Whoa. CBS News on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky updates Irish lawmakers on the war. This night, our territory was again missiles. Zelensky criticized European leaders for their reluctance to ban Russian fuel a day after he presented images of the human massacre in Bucha. The U.S. is expected to announce new sanctions today. White House spokeswoman Jen Psaki. They will target uh, Russian government officials, their family members, uh, Russian-owned uh, financial institutions also. Justice Department officials are holding a news conference this hour to announce new enforcement actions aimed at disrupting and prosecuting Russian criminal. Vatican. Pope Francis kissed a tattered flag from Bucha and condemned the Russian massacre. The Kremlin continues to insist dead bodies strewn across the town were staged. NATO's chief has just warned the war could last months even years. The FDA is taking a fresh look at existing COVID vaccines and how well they work against new Omicron infections. CBS's Christopher Cruz. The FDA's Dr. Doran Fink says the virus has been getting smarter over the past few months. More virulent, more resistant. Experts are worried about new variants spreading at a time when existing vaccines may no longer be Israel shows second booster shots do help protect older people against infection, but those protections almost disappear after just eight weeks. A pandemic era grace period set to expire on May 1st has been extended for tens of millions of Americans who took out student loans. CBS's Tony DeCopo. Later today, President Biden plans to extend a freeze on federal student loan payments. Still in limbo is an effort to cancel some of those loans. The president says he supports canceling up to $10,000 of debt per borrower. Tornado, hail, and strong winds are blamed for two new weather-related deaths in the South. One woman was killed in her mobile home when twisters swept through Bryan County, Georgia. Lord help the ones that are uh, in the path of that tornado. More severe weather is in the forecast for parts of the South today. New research looks at a link between aging and dementia in women. CBS's Wendy Gillette. A new study finds pregnancy and older age at menopause are some of the reproductive factors associated with a lower risk of dementia in women. Researchers in Australia say conversely, women who have had a hysterectomy or had their first period at either an older or younger than average risk. The Dow is down 255 points. This is CBS News. Hire with minimal effort and maximum success with Indeed. Their powerful hiring platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all in one place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Mm, fish Fry Friday. Fish Fry Fry Friday! It's that time of year again for fish fries on a Friday from the Sawmill Pub and Grill. Stop into the Sawmill Pub and Grill this Friday from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Dine in with family or bring your friends. You won't be disappointed. Open to the public and ready to serve up the best fish dinners in town. The Sawmill Pub and Grill is located at 19 Sawmill Boulevard in Saginaw Township. Since the pandemic, I'm so anxious all the time. I can't sleep. I need someone to talk to who's not going to judge me. For emotional support any time of the day or night, talk to a Stay Well counselor. Dial 1-888-535-6136 and press 8. It's free and confidential and one of the many ways to stay mentally healthy. Learn more at michigan.gov slash stay well. Sponsored by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services and the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. It's powerful technology invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash trial.
bear. The rescue dog had very flaky skin, dropping a lot of fur. And Levette wanted to do steroid injections. I was at a dead end. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Probably six weeks after we started using Dynavite, no more flaky skin. He doesn't scratch and itch. It's Dynavite. How happy your dog will be. Every rescue dog in America deserves Dynavite for 90 days. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Live from the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom. This is WSGW News. Cloudy skies, light rain, and 47 degrees at 10.05. Good morning, I'm Mike Kircher. Saginaw City Council heard from several residents looking to save the former Sivitanina Recreation Center after requests by STARS to use it. Here's WSJW's Rick Antonio. STARS has already requested a feasibility study to determine how best to use the space after acquiring it and was approved at this week's council meeting for a $1 one-year lease to use the center's parking lot for bus storage. Lance Cope, one of the handful of residents at the meeting in support of restoring the rec center, says if the city could find a way to use it for what it was used for it would have more social services and a helping hand in staying away from violence. The goal is to save all. By saving Civitan, we could offer computer learning, bag lunches, Saturday league, house visit, in-house counseling, anger management, violence prevention, substance abuse phase one and two, driver's training, skills and trades to prepare the youth that's getting ready to become adults. In addition to its services, the city-owned facility previously hosted youth basketball games and tournaments, giving an athletic spotlight to pro stars like Draymond Green and Lamar Woodley. Rick Antonio, News Radio 100.5 and 79. There's a happy ending to the story about a dog who once chewed off her own leg to escape being trapped. Last August, a mail carrier in Saginaw was in the Parkwood neighborhood when they noticed a female pit bull, pit bull tied up by a steel cable. The animal had been left there for about three weeks, according to animal control officials. She was malnourished and had eaten her own back leg and to try to escape. Animal control rescued the dog and nursed her back to health, giving her the name Bella. Sent to Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in Kanab, Utah, on January 15th, where she stayed until her recent adoption by an Illinois couple, Kim Deal and Jason Redding. Deal and Redding say they plan to spoil the dog rotten. Bella's previous owner, Brand Jones, is charged with abandonment or cruelty to an animal and a misdemeanor punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a $500 fine. WSGW News Time, 10:07. For almost 20 years, Linex has been the only place to go for quality spray-on bed liner. But did you know they also offer rust proofing and undercoating? Their exclusive process will keep your newer used vehicle protected. The guys at Linex have the only wax-based rust proofing and military spec undercoat to ensure years of protection. In fact, all new vehicles protected will get a lifetime warranty. No yearly touch-ups required. And because their rust proofing process is wax-based, you won't have any long-term dripping or mess to clean up later. Rust proof your car, truck, or anything year round. Linex is located in Wilder Road in Bay City. Give them a call at 989 671 9820 or call them at their Grand Blank location, 810 695 9000. Remember, your new car, truck, or SUV gets a lifetime warranty with no yearly touch up required. Again, the number in Bay City is 989 671 9820 or in Grand Blank, 810 695 9000. WSGW News Time 1008. The weather forecast is coming up next. Enrollment is down 80% of Michigan's 15 public universities over the last decade, according to a report from the Michigan Association of State Universities, which found more than a dozen state universities in, in Michigan, with only the uh, University of Michigan, Michigan State University, and at Michigan Tech have seen an increase in enrollment in the decade. For most of the state, enrollment is significantly down. At Western Michigan, enrollment since 2011. At U of M Flint, it's down 22%. And CMU had the largest drop in enrollment, losing 44% more than any other school in the state. Congressman Fred Upton says he will not seek re-election. The St. Joseph Republican, who has served 18 terms in the U.S. House, made the announcement on the House floor. Democrat Debbie Dingell of Dearborn had this to say. To him, bipartisan and compromise are not forbidden words. Fred knew well that if we are going to deliver real solutions for the American people, we need to come together 
and listen to all perspectives, no matter how complicated the issue might be. The 68-year-old Upton has become the fourth House Republican who voted to impeach a former President Trump to not seek re-election. It's going to cost a lot more to put food on the table. The U.S. Department of Agriculture a four and a half to five percent increase in food prices, which would put prices up an average of nine percent so far this year. Officials say beef and veal have seen the biggest increases up over 16 percent since last year. Fish, eggs, oils and poultry have also seen a double digit rise. The cost of eating out is expected to rise four and a half to five and a half percent this year as well. WSGW News Time 1010. I'm Mike Percha. Here's your WSGW weatherology forecast. We'll see periods of rain showers here for today with cloudy sky conditions high in the mid-50s. Winds out of the southeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 25. And for tonight, a slight chance for rain showers early on, mostly cloudy and a low near 39. By Thursday, a chance for rain near late, cloudy high of 49 degrees. And by Friday, a chance for rain showers, cloudy and a high of 46. Saturday, cloudy sky conditions a high around 42. Then by Sunday, partial high around 50. Monday chance for rain cloudy high of 58. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki with the WSGW weatherology forecast. Currently it's 46. Now the only local radio talk show offering you the chance to ask your questions and express your opinions from around your block to around the world. The Art Lewis Show is on 100.5 and 790 WSGW and online WSGW.com. And a good morning to you. Welcome back to our number two of the Art Lewis Show here on WSGW. And uh, this hour, we're going to spend some time up front talking to State Representative Rodney Wakeman. Representative Wakeman, good morning to you, Rod. Good morning, Arthur. How are you today, my friend? Yeah, we're doing well. Thanks a lot. Uh, I want to start out by uh, talking about something that you're involved in. As a matter of fact, uh, you kind of spearheaded this. Uh, You want to improve the adoption and foster care system in the state of Michigan. Uh, what brought it about? Let's start with that. Yeah, thank you. Um, the improvements that uh, th- that we're looking for is actually based on uh, months and actually years of precursor work um, that has been developing uh, uh, over the course of time to address specific issues with regard to adoption and foster care system. Uh, I was on a panel, uh, actually, that was led by, uh, the, the, the panel was chaired by Ford, and uh, she did an absolutely fantastic job on bringing in um, stakeholders, constituents, um, uh, building a uh, conversation on where the system itself is lacking, where can, can things be shored up. Uh, to better serve uh, Michigan's families, Michigan's children. And we spent weeks uh, on Zoom calls um, with stakeholders, particularly uh, those from the state itself, from the department, from people who live and breathe within the adoption and foster care system themselves. Uh, first-hand stories, first-hand accounts of uh, positive and negative, and to show us legislators, uh, this this bipartisan uh, group of ours, uh, where things are going well and where things can improve. So uh, my shout-out uh, is, is right off the top is to uh, my colleague, Rep. Mary Whiteford, and, and her ability to bring all of us together and the, uh, the, the stakeholders in this. I I have to ask, Rod, when we look at the current system, is it broken? No, I don't say it's necessarily broken. What I do say, and I and I want to make it clear, I am not 
um, in, in any of this discussion, nor in the discussions that we had as a group, are we coming down on the individuals who already play a key role, a key part in the adoption and foster care system. Um, you know, part, part of the lack of what's going on here or, or the make, trying to make it the best it can be is there's a shortage of those who can serve uh, as foster care parents. Um, you know, there's more than enough uh, kids in the system, you know, in, in the adoption system. Uh, and But the foster care, you know, the adults that will serve uh, as a uh, integral part of that child's welfare, um, you know, we need more participants in this. And I think it's, this is one of the backlash elements of, you know, the breakdowns that have happened is a little bit due to, um, we need more folks to help. So the, the, the first thing, identify uh, the problems. And, and I just did, I just shared the, probably the biggest concern uh, with you. So let's talk about some of the specifics of this legislation. What will it do? Well, I do have a piece uh, in this multi-bill package. Mine is House Bill 5978. And really what it does are, is it will help place more children uh, in a case where children actually get have to be placed with somebody, okay? Um, currently, the system uh, really doesn't do much looking those that are of within the family. Uh, they will try to go and and seek a placement. You know, sometimes it's you know altogether a, a stranger uh, at first. Well, my what my bill does is it will look to see if there are ways in which current family members or close friends um, uh, to know that they can they can be a participant uh, in this child's. Uh, welfare in the foster care system. So that's what my particular bill does. Multiple other bills in, in the system will also look at ways of coordinating uh, trauma-informed training for attorneys involved in the child care and, and child welfare proceedings. So the attorneys themselves uh, who live and breathe in this environment uh, on a daily basis, we want to make sure that they are uh, well informed on on trauma on trauma situations within um, within the child welfare proceedings, we want to make sure that they have uh, that there are better requirements to ensure that the state safety uh, safely reduces young parent uh, people in the child welfare system. Um, by doing that, by making certain that we only are looking at those children who are in most need of these kinds of services are one placed at the top of the list, but doing so, you know, weeding out those that may not necessarily need to be placed into the system in a, in a, in a total way. So the savings on that can be reinvested back into, in it to improve the system. Uh, and, there, and there's many others. So let me let me these ask are just a few examples. Yeah, let me ask about that. When you say there's many others, and you have a bill, somebody else has a bill. Yeah. Why couldn't there just be an omnibus bill that that is all about adoption and foster care that includes everything in it, one vote, and you're done? Yeah, it's well. There's there's the te there's technical parts to uh, making a multi-bill package that it's it might be so broad and that it touches various areas of existing statute that it might open up different areas within the stat within the law right now that one bill just doesn't do it uh we don't we don't like to favor multi-section areas within a single bill what what is it, it gives us and it gives um stakeholders uh more of a direct input on what we try to do is match up and and get the the topics within the topic as a whole. Okay, you've got different topics within the same statute that we're working on. Keep the topics relevant within the bills themselves, individual bills, and that is, I guess, paramount on many um, 
multi bill packages. And in this case, you know, this bill package is going to be coming to my committee, seniors committee that I chair. So Being you, a participant in the bill in the bill package is, is a is a positive thing, but then this way here it gives each stakeholder and it gives each uh, bill uh, sponsor their time to explain their bills in front of the committee and in front of the public. Is it your sense that once you discharge these bills and have them to the floor, a that they'll pass and b that the governor will sign them? We are very hopeful in this process because. Uh, DHHS is directly involved with this. Uh, they have been from from the very beginning, and it is very one of the if the departments that are involved in the uh, legislation legislative process, uh, if the departments are behind it, um, even at a minimum of being neutral, uh, that tends to be very favorable uh, if and when a, a bill or a bill package gets to the governor. So. We are very hopeful that this is going to uh, be very fruitful uh, at the end of the day. All right. Representative Rodney Wakeman, our guest. Hang on, Rod. We'll be back with you after uh, a few notes here on WSGW. And right now it's time to play the WSGW Baseball Bucks presented by Stone Specialists. Right now, you can qualify to win the daily cash prize of $1,000 by entering the following word online at WSGW.com. The word this hour is Washington, like in the baseball team, Washington Nationals, or the seat of government, Washington. It's an Alpha Media company-wide contest. Must be 18 or older to play. One winner chosen each day. Complete rules at WSGW.com. Baseball Bucks presented by Stone Specialists on WSGW. Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish, forsaking all others? I do. I do. And now by the power vested in me, I Go forth. That's not the vow you took. But if struggles with CPAP have you and your spouse sleeping in separate rooms, it might be time to look into Inspire. Inspire works inside the body with just the click of a remote. That's right, just a button. No mask, no hose, just sleep. Inspire. Sleep apnea innovation. Talk to your doctor to see if Inspire is right for you. Review important safety information at inspiresleep.com. If you owe the IRS back taxes, then get ready to pay up. The IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who owe the IRS. So if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting you. Ask Optima about the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands, and nobody knows this program better than they do. Optima is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they get results, having resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get it. For your free consultation, call 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You will never have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7-365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. This is the Fox Business Report. Stocks lost ground at the open with concerns about the impact of higher interest rates. The Federal Reserve releases minutes from its recent meeting later today. That's expected to offer more perspective on how the Fed plans to fight inflation. JetBlue, Frontier, and Spirit Airlines shares have all been losing ground after JetBlue topped Frontier's offer to buy Spirit. Whether JetBlue or Frontier wind up buying Spirit, the Justice Department is expected to look closely at the combination. Rivian shares or higher helped by upbeat numbers for its recent quarter. Rivian produced more than 25 trucks in the period, more than double the number from the end of last year. And there's a merger in the restaurant entertainment business. Dave and Buster's is buying the main event chain. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Kosova, invested in you.
Are we about to see the end of the dollar? On March 9th, Biden signed an executive order for digital money piggybacking off Senate Bill 3571, the Digital Dollar Banking for All Act. The media says it's the ultimate financial censorship tool and a tool for government surveillance of citizens and control over their financial transactions. Protect your savings from Democrats. Get Monetary Gold's free protection guide. Call 7262, 888-201-7262, 888-201-7262. Paid for by Monetary Gold. When state bureaucrats threatened doctors over their COVID treatments, Representative Annette Glenn backed the bureaucrats down. Dr. John Fenninger said Annette Glenn's actions, quote, may have saved many lives. Paid for by Annette Glenn for State Senate. The WSGW Morning Team Show. On the Morning Team Show page, you got a picture posted. See those pair of shoes there? I do. Can you see what it says in the back of those shoes? I believe it says Waffle House. It does say Waffle House. Waffle House and Adidas. In the first opening round day of the Masters, a brand new shoe, Waffle House themed. Yes, yes, you would be right. A golf shoe or a regular shoe? A golf shoe. It boasts an off-white color. It says similar to waffle batter. There are three stripes on the sides of the shoe that sport a brown checkered waffle pattern to resemble the color of a cooked Waffle House waffle. Here you go. A transparent outsole that captures the friendly and sometimes generous pour of maple syrup. Don't know what that means. If you're interested, by the way, $200 retail price. $200 for those? Well, uh, well, there's your question now. Would you rather have the waffles or have the shoes? I'd rather have the waffles. Waffles. But not for $200. You'd rather rather have a good swing. It's going to cost you more than $200. (laughs) The Morning Team Show. Weekdays, 530 to 9 on WSGW. And we're back with you on the Art Lewis Show. Coming to you from my second on Spirit Home Studio, talking to Representative Rodney Wakeman. Uh, Rod, the uh, redistricting commission did their thing, and uh, your district, as it is now, is not what it's going to be tomorrow, is it? It really has changed. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, it has changed a lot, but that's the case across the entire state. When the redistricting commission went into effect, what their obligation was to do was to take on and tackle the uh, every the every decade uh, task of uh, you know reapportioning or, or or remapping of the congressional districts in this in the state and the two legislative uh, state legislatures uh, uh, districts, the Senate and the House. My current district, the 94th district, was actually when it all said and done with the new map has split my 94th district up into three different districts went to one area portion went to a second and portion went to a third um and and that's where we're at i uh i have to be honest i expected when the maps were coming out that we'd see something a little more unified that there'd be more square districts if you will not the convoluted kind of districts we've seen and then I looked at yours, and it's about as convoluted as it gets. <laughs> They've got you all over the place. Here's the irony, Art. Um, you know, I'm not, I guess I'm not a. I wasn't a fan of how we got to where we got. You know, the you know the people the people spoke right. on the um, ballot proposal, I, and and I get that. That I get that. The part that was a. a a, a, a bit numbing and a head scratcher was before the redistricting commission was even provided for and and was seated. Uh, my 94th district, with anybody in in my district, should likely know that the district the U around the 95th district, which is mostly comprised of the population center of, of the, you know, the, of the county, the city of Saginaw, for example, uh, and, and other uh, immediate uh, townships uh, right outside of the city of Saginaw. That's the 95th. So that is a certain demographic favorable to one party. And then the 94th district around it uh, is in a in a particular it's in its particular shape because that's the area that that remains, um, and this 94th district has been a 60 40 uh, Republican district. Now, the when it was kind of when it was split up the way it it is shown now on the map, um, it as you 
correctly state, are uh, it is in a shape that is very convoluted. It, it we'll give it that. I mean, we don't want broken up districts where there is a you know exact cutoff of a particular district, and then it then it reemerges somewhere else, but under the same district number. We do want all the districts to be contiguous. Um, but I was told very early on in my first term that the 94th district is going to look a lot different. And that's before the district redistricting commission was seated. So my, my U shaped 94th district looks like kids play compared to what this <laughs> new district looks like the, you know, the 97th district that I am, I'll be running for. You have a so, um, it, so it, it is, it is odd. Yes. And that'll put you in, if I calculate it right, I mean, it gives you a piece of four different counties, doesn't it? Yeah, my current district, the 94th, is all contained within Saginaw County. Right. Uh, there are three state reps that share Saginaw County, one of them. The 97th district expands. Now, we're talking the same, roughly the same amount of people, about 90,000 is, is what I currently represent, and that's about what all districts, roughly speaking, represent. That's the number that that the maps have to stay close to reasonably close to is, right. is about that 90,000 number. It's not about how many square miles you have. It's about the population within that particular map. Uh, and so this, this 97th district, again, about 90,000 people that I would represent um, is spread over four counties now. One, and it's a small part of Bay County, one, one township in, in Bay County, two small townships in Genesee County. And the rest of it is between uh, areas that I already serve as in Saginaw County and uh, the western, almost the western half of Tuscola County. So it's a it's a whole new ball game, isn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, I like I like this. I I do like this map that I have. I mean, it, it aside from the shape of it and how out into four counties. Uh, I mean, it could have easily still been within two counties, you know, and it had had we not taken the small portion of Bay and, and the two small portions of the Genesee. But nonetheless, um, you know, it is very resemble of resemblant of you know the constituency that I still that I already serve today. Um, my 94th is both uh, industrial, um, uh, blue collar, white collar, uh, agriculture, uh, and it's going to be the same thing. For the 97th yeah it's just going to be spread out over four counties yeah yeah interesting well it's going to be it's going to be interesting uh and i assume you're running for re-election right you know it's we might as well say yeah. so <laughs> yes yes so let's talk about what else is on the table in lansing uh what are some of the big issues you're looking at today well, again, I can go back to some of the work that I've been doing in my House Families uh, Children Seniors Committees. Uh, is uh, one of the other package that we're working on is called the Central Reg Registry uh, Bill package, and this is an interesting concept. It, it, it again, it's a it's a great piece of uh, a package of legislation um, that uh, others are, are bringing forward to my committee, and it is a it, the Central Registry basically are, is what it is. is uh, a, a registry that's within uh, DHHS that tracks um, perpetrators of serious abuse and neglect who represent ongoing risks uh, to children in their care. A list, I think, is absolutely necessary for, for people to be identified and be put on a list, right? So that DHHS has a way to track and to, in, in, in real world, where necessary, prevent certain people from being able to uh, have that this kind of access to children. Mm -hmm. And I get that. What what this is, DHHS actually identified the fact that there are far too many people on their very own list, to the tune of about three hundred thousand Michigan residents. And they think, and this is just DHHS talking. And they think that it should be whittled down to uh, just a few, um, maybe a, uh, uh, you know, thirty thousand or so, something to that effect. Um, so there's there's got to be a mechanism in play to reduce those numbers 
well, without it's... without releasing those who really need to be on the list. So it, it sounds to me like this list is comparable to what we have with sexual offenders. There's a sexual offender yeah. registry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. a sexual offender gets on the registry because they've been through the courts and they've been adjudicated. How does yeah. a uh, how does a child abuser get on the list? Yeah. The same way, or is it just by accusation? Uh, or it's mostly it's mostly an accusation, or unfounded, or untested, or uh, unadjudicated um, uh, circumstances. So. So it is far easier to get on this list than to end up on a sexual predator list because those are lists that ha that individuals come on to after adjudication. This one, you could just simply be accused of something, and then and then there goes your um, your chance to be able to do work in and around kids. Oh, is there, re is there having, the, having the ability? Yep. So is, is the there recourse? Uh, well, in this particular bill package, uh, there will be, uh, and they could, they could petition to DHHS, which then get this, this bill package gives DHHS the kind of power that they themselves are actually asking for, because there's only, there's, there, there has to be a reasonable way to whittle the numbers down from 300,000 to, you know, a few other thousand. So, um, you know, it is a safe way to get to uh, them to, to get the names off the list, the names of who should not be on the list anymore. Yeah. Hang on. I got to take a break. We're talking to Rodney Wakeman, representative Wakeman from the 94th, currently the 94th district. And we'll talk more with him when we return on the Art Lewis show. Business trip coming up soon. Finally taking that much needed vacation. MBS International Airport is your premier airport for personal and business travel. With services through Delta and United Airlines, you will feel upgraded as soon as you walk through the door. Book your flight today at mbsairport.org and let us help you see the world. When it comes to serial disease, Pro 400 SC fungicide from Bayer makes all the difference. With three effective active ingredients for overlapping control of foliar and head diseases and a flexible application window for head scab, it's formulated to lower dawn, protect yield potential, and promote superior grain quality. Prosaro Pro, the future of plant health starts here. Visit prosaropro.com to learn more. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Hometown feel and big time winning. That's Saginaw Eagles Landing, the place where everyone greets you with smile after smile. In the casino, at the restaurants, or in the hotel. This is a getaway that makes you feel right at home. And now, sports betting is here. That's right. You can bet on games in every season as you enjoy all the tasty food and live sports on TVs throughout the Creekside Lounge. Got a favorite? Got a hunch? Get to Saginaw Eagles Landing to wager on all the point spreads, props. Sports betting puts you right in the action, and there's no better place to watch a game than the Creekside Lounge. Sports betting is just one more reason to get here. We've got hundreds of slots, great food, and a comfy place to stay. So come on in and see what the good times are all about. Saginaw Eagles Landing Casino and Hotel. Real fun, real friendly. You must be 18 and older to wager. Visit Saginaw-EaglesLandy.com for complete rules and details. At the United States Postal Service, we deliver with advanced technology and equipment so we can reach over 160 million addresses across the country. We're delivering for fingers, doers, movers, shakers, groundbreakers, future makers, innovators, trailblazers, disruptors, streamers, dreamers. So no matter what business you're in, we'll always be delivering for you. USPS, delivering for America. Learn more at usps.com slash delivering. Finding great candidates to hire. Trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. Yeah. 
I'm so stressed. Our business is growing. We've got people all over now. Uma. What is that? Meditation? I'm recommending Uma, and their all-in-one phone, video, and collaboration solution. Uma? Yep. Switching to Uma is a cinch. Just $24.95 per month per user, plus taxes and fees. Uma. Now you're feeling it. Visit Uma.com. That's O-O-M-A dot com to learn more. Uma. Smart communications for the smarter business. I like fresh eggs. AEB Free Range Chickens in the office wasn't a great idea. We should just use Easy Cater. Breakfast, lunch, treats, on time, and as ordered. And I bet they never preened their feathers in the conference room without... Reserving it first! There's a clipboard outside the door. You put your name. It's not that hard, guys. Some food just doesn't work at work. But Easy Cater just does. Food for work, on time, and as ordered from over 82,000 restaurants. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. On the next Markley Van Camp and Robin show. Well, it seems the Border Patrol has just gone platinum. What does that mean? They picked up their one millionth illegal in 2022. Markley Van Camp and Robbins. Weekdays at noon on 100.5 and 790. News Radio WSGW. Broadcasting from the premier kitchen and bath gallery showroom and design center studios. This is WSGW. And we're back with you on the Art Lewis Show, talking to Representative Rodney Wakeman from the 94th District. Uh, Rod, let's talk uh, a little bit about the federal money, the ARPA money, the infrastructure money. Uh, has the state determined what it's going to do with all of it yet? Uh, not in totality, no. There are still about, uh, now I, I, I'm, I'm coming to this art as not someone not a member of any appropriations committee. So I, I get these, I get the information, but I'm not in the, you know, the top tier of knowing what's happening at every given minute of the. Yeah. But what I can tell you is that there are still, is still approximately four and a half billion, that's with a B, dollars on the balance sheet. In, in, here in the state, and those are the dollars that we are working on and trying to uh, find the, um, the, you know, put the numbers as where they need to go. Uh, you know, that will happen. It's just a matter of getting to that point. And this is all part of the negotiation, budget negotiations as well, too, with the governor. We're we're working on it. We're working toward that end. Uh, but just know that with the federal money, the amount of federal money that has come in. You know, we've, you know, the, the state has doled out all kinds of money uh, around the state right now um, it, to get to that four and a half billion leftover funds. So we're working on it. You you mentioned a couple of words uh, <laughs> that we didn't often hear go together. Negotiations with the governor. Uh, we go back to COVID days. There was no such thing. Um, has that situation mm-hmm. improved? Well, given the fact that things are opened up. Uh, in, in, in that sense, yes. Uh, but, you know, many Michigan uh, voters and many Michigan residents realize that her, um, her, her orders, while they've been pulled back, they have not been completely eliminated. So they are still on the books. It's just, you know, if she ever finds the need to uh, open any of the executive orders up again, uh, they are there. And that's always a concern. You know, it, we, many businesses, many families, um, those that were, that had employment um, and, and no longer have employment right now, uh, you know, they're feeling the pinch now because a lot, some of these funds that did, that they did have, uh, that was able to keep them home, those have either expired or expiring and um you know businesses are are still hurting because they need to get these people back into their into their shops and into their offices uh and into the restaurants so you know what we're trying to do uh, at, in lansing is be able to help families prosper and that includes helping businesses pro- prosper too we, we just need to get the folks back to work and the other side of that is attracting businesses to Michigan. Uh, I heard you, uh, we were at uh, the meeting that Ken Horn and Amos O'Neill and yourself were at, 
and uh, they talked very much about attracting business to Michigan and competing with places like Tennessee. How are we doing in that regard? Uh, I we can always do better, but what we do not, what we cannot afford is to be in a, a, a second position of what happened with us uh, and the automakers and what Tennessee, what Tennessee did is exactly what Tennessee needed to do. And that is prepare, have a plan and be prepared to uh, uh, companies, large and small, in this case, large, an environment in the state to attract business. And we need to catch up. And, and what was most hurtful in that transaction was the auto industry being uh, expanding uh, down there, in you know that that Tennessee was was there and and was ready for that, but we lost that business, that auto business. We are the we have to be cognizant of you know we are known throughout the world as the auto, and we have to continue. And I, I think it's we have to maintain that uh, element to be the first place to go to for any business to when considering an, a, an expansion or move into a state auto related in particular in this example, but how do we get there? Well, we, we have to be able to secure, uh, area land, um, policies that encourage, uh, this kind of expansion and attract businesses to Michigan and not be somebody where they spend, here and say no, your your tax policy and your expansion policies that you have here in the state are so um, uh, different and and less attractive than other states that they go elsewhere. We can't afford to do that. Bipartisan effort. It has to be. It has to be, and it and I think it starts with the governor. I think the governor needs to be promoting Michigan twenty four seven. I, I can remember, and I wasn't in the legislature then, but I remember one of uh, Governor Snyder's first movements uh, in when he became a governor is he started a, a conversation, not just other states, but other countries uh -huh. to bring business to Michigan and not just the United States. Um, and he did that very well. And we need to have that kind of uh, foresight in our executive office to to say, hey, look, Michigan is a great place to to live, work, grow a family, to make uh, roots here, and you know we have a lot of components that work well. We just need to be able to be more competitive than our neighboring states who are attracting these other businesses. Yeah. Well, listen, Rod, I thank you for your time this morning, and uh, it's always it's a pleasure. always it's a pleasure. fun chatting with you. And uh, we'll you bet. talk to you again down the road, I'm sure. You bet. We'll do. Have a great day. Take care. You too. Thanks, sir. Bye bye. State Representative Rodney Wakeman, we thank him for spending a little time with us this morning here on the Art Lewis Show. Uh, we'll have open phones for the remainder of the hour. Not a lot of time, but still time for you to get in and chat if there's something on your mind this morning. Hemlock Public School District is proud to announce they are the Innovative District of the Year in 2022. This vibrant school community offers engagement in extracurricular activities from sports, drama, fine arts. Public Schools is a leader in innovation, collaboration, and education with programs from the cradle to early middle college. Call us today at 989-642-5282. That's 642-5282 or hemlockps.com. Hemlock Public Schools, excellence in education. Enroll today. This is Fogelman, ready to hustle for that muscle. Membership numbers at Sly's Gym have been racking up. 22 people have signed up for 6 a.m. Buns of Steel. Now he needs more certified trainers to do all the heavy lifting. I'm going to have to bulk up my staff. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Our hiring platform instantly connects. Resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. 
but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash trial. Struggling with hunger. How would you recognize them? Would you notice a 16-year-old boy who got, got his first job, not for extra spending money, but to help feed his little sisters? Or a mother who's in between jobs and sometimes goes to bed hungry so her kids can have dinner. I am the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. I am hunger in America. Hunger can be hard to recognize. Learn why at IamHungerInAmerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. RocketGrabPlus.com This week's deal on RocketGrabPlus.com is for JB's Market in Munger. You are going to get two four-packs of breakfast brats. JB's breakfast brats are delicious and they're an all-day brat. You can either eat them in the morning with your eggs or on a bun in the afternoon. Don't forget to follow JB's Market on Facebook. Every Monday they post their weekly ads, so be sure to check it out. And head to RocketGrabPlus.com right now to snag your deal. RocketGrabPlus.com Hey, moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, WSGW and Fashion Square Mall are inviting you to bring out the kids and grandkids for some fun. Saturday, April 16th at Fashion Square Mall, it's our kids' world. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., three hours of activities and events sponsored by Francis Ray Academy. A family-friendly day for everyone. Powered by Sarah Automotive in Saginaw. Enjoy the bounce houses brought to you by Bouncing Bellas and MBS International Airport. Easter Bunny Pictures, sponsored by Freeland Sports Zone Summer Camps. An Easter Egg Hunt, sponsored by LifeChurchMichigan.com. Event sponsored by Capoco Credit Union with some prize giveaways, on site vendors, and more. Something for all ages. It's our kids' world at Fashion Square Mall. Saturday, April 16th, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Presented by Fashion Square Mall and WSGW. Find information online at WSGW.com. The second off spirit play here. Curls back, fires, finds Smith, and shoots. Hey. Scores! Mitchell Smith, his second of the game. It's a Wednesday night edition of Saginaw Spirit Hockey. The Spirit hosts the London Knights tonight at the Dow Ben Center with complete coverage beginning at 6.50 p.m. on 100.5 FM News Radio WSGW. And great seats are still available for tonight's contest. For ticket information, visit SaginawSpirit.com. Saginaw Spirit Hockey is on WSGW. All right, we're back with you here on the Art Lewis Show. In the uh, remaining time that we have, we'll have uh, open phones for the next few minutes anyway if you want to get in and uh, and uh, chat with us. Uh, this is a, I, I wasn't going to really talk about Russia-Ukraine today, but I'm going to have to at least a little bit uh, because uh, – the top U.S. military officials are worried for a significant international conflict if things continue the way they're going in the Ukraine. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Mark Milley, and uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin appeared uh, before the House Armed Services Committee and they both said that there is a significant possibility of an international conflict. Well, it already is an international conflict, except other than the Ukraines versus the Russians, there's no NATO boots on the ground, so to speak, no U.S. boots on the ground in the conflict. And there have been people that have said that this conflict could go on a long, long time. Putin isn't going to simply give up because he's been defeated in certain areas. Uh, it was a huge failure that the Russians were unable to take Kiev. Huge failure. Thousands of Russians have been killed in the battles. Uh, now, the Russian people don't know that because the state 
media-controlled state in Russia only tells them what they want to tell them. For example, and this is almost, it's sadly laughable. We've all seen the pictures of Buka, the dead bodies, the graves, the trenches with bodies. The Russian media and Russian diplomats are saying, oh, it's, it's staged. They were all actors. It's a lot of dead actors, isn't it? So that gives you an idea of what the Russian people are being fed and why Putin's approval numbers are so high. The Russian people are under the impression that this was all to protect the motherland, if you will, and that, uh, that uh, they're going after Nazis in the Ukraine Soldiers have been quoted as going up to people's homes and saying, where are the Nazis? Tell us where the Nazis are. I don't know how you ever bring Putin and his generals and those guilty of these atrocities to trial. Maybe you should do it in absentia and isolate him even further. I don't know. I just know that somehow, some way, there has to be accountability. Now, Joe Biden took a lot of heat for saying that uh, Putin can't remain in power. The reason he took the heat for that statement is because the United States has had a long-standing policy of not advocating violent change of heads of government. However, I have to wonder if the day isn't going to come when someone is going to try and take a pot shot at Putin. Now, he's... He's got a security force around him that's equal to the Secret Service and our president. So you don't just walk in and do something. But the day, I think the day is going to come when someone somewhere is going to take action. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see... uh, See what happens. We're going to take uh, our last break. Be back to close out the program for today. It could be the best years of your life. In retirement, you'll finally get to do what you want to do. But... You have to plan for it. Start by tuning into Mindy and Nolan McIntosh of McIntosh and Associates every Sunday at noon for Wealth Michigan with the McIntosh. The best time of your life. Tune in Sundays at noon for Wealth Michigan with the McIntoshes. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services offered only by duly registered individuals through AA Wealth Management, LLC. If you owe the IRS back taxes, then get ready to pay up. The IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who owe the IRS. So if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax problems now before it's too late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting... The Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands, and nobody knows this program better than they do. Optima is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they get results, having resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get a fresh start. Call today for your free consultation. Call 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. 800-364-9188. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. My name is Ruth Rusi, and this is how I live United. I read to children as part of United Ways. It helps them create links between language and literacy and prepares them for a better academic future. I figure I have the time and they have the need. My name is Ruth Rusi. 
I help kids prepare to succeed in school. So I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. Give, advocate, volunteer, Live United. Go to liveunited.org. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad. My name is Tom Thornton. And my name is Cindy Thornton. We're retired, and this is how we live United. We decided to volunteer with United Way at our community free health clinic. United Way is how we contribute. Because we know our time and money are going to the right places. Judging by the thank yous we get at the clinic, I'd say we're doing the we're Tom and Cindy Thornton. We volunteer at our community free health clinic. We don't just wear the shirt. We live it. Give, advocate, volunteer, live united. Go to liveunited.org. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. All right, that'll do it for the Art Lewis Show for today. We'll be back tomorrow with lots more. Thanks for joining us. Focus coming up next. And on Focus, we're going to talk to the manager of MBS International Airport, James Kanders. All of that uh, coming up after the news, which is next here on WSGW. From the premier kitchen and bath gallery studios, WSGW, Edlin, WSGW FM, Carlton. This is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Steve Kathan. New moves by the U.S. as calls grow for a war crimes trial aimed at Russia. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the U.S. is working with international partners to collect evidence of alleged war crimes, but stopped short of calling for a Nuremberg-style tribunal. I'm not calling for anything at this time. Right now we're in the collection of evidence stage, and that's what we're doing. We're helping our European partners and our Ukrainian partners. Garland also announced charges against a Russian oligarch for years and the super yacht seizure of another. The Justice Department says it also disrupted a Russian botnet tied to the Kremlin before it could be used. Steve Dorsey, CBS News, Washington. The U.S. is also rolling out new sanctions, hitting more banks and individuals, including Vladimir Putin's two adult daughters. From Ukraine, CBS's Holly Williams tells us... Many Ukrainians have expressed to us their gratitude for American help in this conflict. But some are also frustrated because they want more weapons, especially aircraft and modern air defense systems. The Supreme Court has reinstated a rule that limits the power of states and tribes to block pipelines and other. The Biden administration intends to rewrite it. At least two deaths and damage in several southern states after a round of violent weather that included tornadoes. This man lives outside Savannah. We've seen movies like Twister. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, that's what happened. I mean, I don't see this in South Georgia. WCBS meteorologist Craig Allen says things could get rough in some places later on today. We're expecting the threat for severe weather to include portions of central Florida on up the eastern seaboard along the I-95 corridor and eastern sections of North Carolina, Virginia, as well as lower Maryland and the Delmarva area. Tomorrow's wet forecast is prompt postponements in New York and Minneapolis. Two workers were wounded at an industrial plant in Anderson, South Carolina, after a gunman shot and killed himself. And Sheriff Chad McBride says the gunman was apparently a former employee. No motive as of yet. Uh, we've heard some theories uh, and stuff like that right now. Of course, we'll have to sort through that. Overseas, a London court has ruled on one of the top songs of 2017. I'm in love with the shape of you, push and pull like a knife. Shape of You from Ed Sheeran was not copied from the earlier Sammy Switch tune, Oh Why, according to a judge. On Twitter, Sheeran called it one of many baseless. This is bound to happen if 60,000 songs are being released every day on Spotify. There's 22 million songs a year, and there's only 12 notes that are available. The Dow is down 290. This is CBS News. There's always something new under the sun. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS. A good grower always knows the forecast. And with interest rates forecasted to rise in the near future, there's never been a better time to lock in a historically low rate on a new irrigation system at your local Zomatic dealer. For a limited time, get an additional 1% interest rate discount on and the earliest delivery dates in the industry. So your new Zomatic Pivot is ready to roll this spring. Terms and conditions apply. See your local dealer or visit lindsay.com slash spring sale for full details. We're planning a trip to Spain later this year. But our Spanish is... It's pretty bad. So we're using Babbel. Babbel's conversation-based method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. 
there's no easier way to learn another language. Ahora hablamos español. He just said, now we speak Spanish. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Okay, forest animals, kids are coming to the forest, and it's up to us to make their visit a good one. Sparrow, have you practiced the most popular bird songs for the year? Of course. Catchy. I like it. River, how's the temperature? It's a refreshing 52 degrees, man. I love it. Uh, Turtle. He's not here yet, man. Uh, he's late every morning. Okay. Squirrel. The forest has been preparing just for you. To learn more about cool things to do in the forest, visit discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Is that a faucet running? That's not a faucet. That's a river rushing through the forest. Forest, river clean people with clean water to drink. What? I can't hear you because of the vacuum. That's not a vacuum. That's the trees in the forest cleaning up the air we breathe. I didn't know the trees were so amazing. Yep, and the forest gives us shade, trees to climb. That's awesome. Let's go explore some more. Visit the forest today and enjoy all it does just for you. To learn more about the forest and find one near you, go to discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest. From the 100.5 and 790 Newsroom, this is WSGW News. Cloudy skies, rain, and 49 degrees. Good morning, I'm Mike Percha. The Bay City Public School District is looking at possible changes to its bus services. The district will spend close to $3 million for the next year for buses to transport students. It currently provides the service itself with unionized drivers. However, Superintendent Stephen Bigelow says the district is looking at ways to save money by possibly using a private company to provide those services instead. There's no concrete plan as of yet, according to Bigelow, but he says he would like to see proposals from those companies to see how they compare to compare in the uh, house the compared to the in-house transportation costs. The district drivers would also be able to keep their contract going. A Saginaw Township woman was arraigned Monday on animal cruelty charges for abandoning, abandoning several cats in a home. Animal Care and Control in Saginaw County received a call last November about cats being left in a home on Centennial Drive after the owner had moved. Animal Control officers found deplorable conditions in the home when they investigated with trash, feces, and urine in every room of the house. Officers found 12 live cats plus four dead ones. Two of the dead cats had badly decomposed. Many of the living cats were malnourished and dehydrated. After interviewing the home's former resident, 34-year-old Jennifer Barron, another Barron is charged with animal cruelty to 10 or more animals and has surrendered rights on ownership of all of them. She is currently out on bond. Eight of the cats have been adopted. In support of National Distracted Driving Awareness Month in April, law enforcement agencies in several Michigan communities will take part in a four-hour Distracted Driving Enforcement and Awareness Initiative tomorrow. Connect to Disconnect will take place as part of the national You Drive, You Text, You Pay media campaign, which reminds drivers about the dangers and consequences of distracted driving and runs through Monday. The goals of Connect to Disconnect are to demonstrate a nationwide commitment to enforcing laws and to reduce traffic crashes caused by distracted drivers. WSGW News Time 1107. I'm attorney Jerry Reif, and I have practiced law in mid-Michigan for over three decades. Many of you have attended my monthly workshops where you have learned about estate planning, asset protection planning, avoiding nursing home costs, and how to save the family farm. Would you like to understand more about these topics? I'm offering three free e-booklets about estate planning, farm succession planning, and Medicaid planning. To get your free e-booklet, go to jerryreiflawyer.com to download any or all of the e-booklets or call 989-790-1461 to request a my e-booklet describes Medicaid, Medicare, and the difference between them. If estate planning is confusing to you, then get my e-booklet, Estate Planning Basics, and you'll find that it is a helpful guide for your future planning. If you have a farming operation and want to save it for future generations, then get my e-booklet, Estate Planning for Farmers. If you want any of these free e-booklets, go to jerryreiflawyer.com or call 989-790-1461 to request your free copy. WSGW News Time 1108. The weather forecast is coming up next. Crime Stoppers is now offering a $26,000 reward for information into a firebombing at a building. His apartment residence slept upstairs. Police say the arson marched.
tile company building happened after someone had mailed in a bomb threat. A man is seen on surveillance video tossing a rock into a window, then torching the building. Anyone with, anyone with information should call the Monroe police. University of Michigan officials are warning students and staff about an uptick in COVID-19 cases. Here's health reporter Dr. Deanna Lights. A campus-wide email was sent out on Friday to the University of Michigan community urging staff, faculty, and students to use preventive measures like masking, hand washing, testing to curb the spread. There was a slight increase last week from the previous week of COVID cases on campus. Officials say the new cases were linked to unmasked social gatherings and related to the Omicron BA2 variant, which is more easily transmitted than the Omicron BA1. Water levels are closer to normal on the Great Lakes after reaching record highs over the past couple of years. A forecast from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers shows water levels in Lakes Michigan and Huron have plummeted and are now on track to be only slightly above average this summer. That's good news for boaters and homeowners alike. Water levels rose three feet above average back in April 2020, 28 inches. Lake Superior has also seen a decline in water levels. WSGW News Time, 1110. I'm Mike Percha. Here's your WSGW weatherology forecast. We'll see periods of rain showers here for today with cloudy sky conditions high in the mid 50s. Winds out of the southeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 25. And for tonight, a slight chance for rain showers early on, mostly cloudy and a low near 39. By Thursday, a chance for rain near late, cloudy high of 49 degrees. And by Friday, a chance for rain showers, cloudy, and a high of 46. Saturday, cloudy sky condition. Then by Sunday, partial sunshine develops. We'll see a high around 50. Monday, chance for rain, cloudy, high of 58. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki with the WSGW Weatherology Forecast. Currently, it's 47. Now. It's time to focus as WSGW presents the people, the places, the businesses, the culture, the area events and activities, all put into focus on 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW and online WSGW.com. And a good morning and welcome to another edition of the Art Lewis Show, coming to you from my second on Spirit Home Studio. Program brought to you by RoofMax, the safe, proven, and affordable alternative to expensive asphalt shingle roof replacement. Find out more about RoofMax online at roofmax.com or call Ben at 989-659-3000. Six seven five one, roof max, and that's roof max with two X's. And today on focus, we focus on one of the gems in the Great Lakes Bay region, and that is our airport, MBS International Airport. And with us, its executive director, we say good morning to James Canders. James, good morning. Morning, Art. Thanks for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Number of things to talk about. Uh, Let's start with infrastructure money because the federal government has provided a big pot of money to everybody. Uh, what piece of that will you receive and how are you going to use it? Well, uh, we're going to be allocated at least uh, 1.58 million a year for the next part of that infrastructure grant funds. Some of it will uh, be used uh, for possibly some of the runway and taxiway improvements here on the airport, but we are also trying to build a new maintenance facility here and I, I on the airport, and I think the bulk of it will go towards that if, uh, if we meet all the approval measures. Yeah, the maintenance facility is long overdue, isn't it? I mean, that's been around a long time. Yes, that's uh, about 40, 42 years old now, and uh, it's definitely starting to show signs of age. On top of that, you can't get some of the equipment in it, can you? Correct. We've got some new pieces of uh, equipment. They're plow trucks, multi-use plow trucks, and they're seven patched. And the building, as it stands right now, is only 72 feet long. So that means we can't even put them in with the plow on. <laughs> yeah. Working with uh, some uh, representatives uh, pre-check to uh, establish an event here at the MBS administrative office starting next week where 
Uh, people signed up and they come in and they can uh, do all the uh, applications and, and documentation for getting signed up for TSA PreCheck. Pre oh, you're going to be a PreCheck location then. Uh, not quite that. It's basically uh, we're going to it's for, to allow people to come in and sign up for the process. So they go to any airport in the country and they can go through a pre-check line. Well, what if, if they sign up with you, what do they have to do after that? Uh, they're established with the TSA uh, in the TSA's uh, system as a pre-check person. Yep. So they get their. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. In other words, it can be done in your office. They don't have to go anywhere else. They can just do it in your office. Uh, well, this is only a one-time event right now. It's all next week where um, the uh, signs up people for pre-check on a on-site location will be here and get 300 individuals signed up. So it's not going to be permanent then? It's next week or I don't get no. it from you? No, it's not going to be permanent, but uh, this is kind of – consider this like a test process to see how well it would, would go. And people signed up very quickly. And uh, if that's any kind of indication, I wouldn't be surprised if we hold more of these events in the future. Mm -hmm. and, and for those of us that have like Nexus cards and global entry cards, we already have pre-checked part of it. Yes, that should be correct. That is, that is part of the event. And you know, the one nice thing about flying out of MBS, and this is why when I fly, it is always out of MBS. There is no better place to go through the TSA than at MBS. Never face long lines. They're friendly. They do their job. But it is so much easier at MBS than any place else I've ever been. I would agree with that. Uh, we're pretty lucky at MBS to have the uh, TSA staff here that we do. And um, our lines aren't very long. I'd like to change that a little bit and get some more flights in here. I'm constantly yeah. working to do that. But, uh, <laughs> Other airports, they have the longer lines. Uh, and so uh, pre-check definitely comes in handy at those airports. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. And, and MBS is, I mean, the convenience outweighs anything else as far as I'm concerned. It's, I agree. It's just the best place to fly out of. I've done it for years and, and will continue to do so. My favorite airport always has been and always will be. Uh, so you talked about trying to get more airlines in here. MBS has always had the reputation of being a business airport, driven, of course, by Dow and other companies in this area. Uh, it, it, it seems that we're up against a, a brick wall when we try and find the, the uh, occasional tourist-type airline that, that can take people to tourist spots. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the ultra-low-cost carriers, generally what the industry term is for them, or your leisure airlines, um, somewhat of a brick wall. Um, we're in an interesting time right now because uh, even those ultra-low-cost carriers are struggling with um, crew staffing. Yeah, uh, I, I've seen other airports have had to cancel a lot of their flights uh, for those ULCCs because they can't get people to fly them. But um, I do approach several of these ULCC carriers and um, pitch MBS, and there does an interest amongst some of those individuals. All right. I got to take a break. Hang on, James. We'll be back. We're talking to James Kanders. He is the airport director of MBS International Airport, a little gem that sits right here in Saginaw. And if when you're flying, you haven't flown out of it, you owe it yourself to try it. It's the way to go. Time to play WSGW's Baseball Bucks, presented by Stone Specialists. Right now, you can qualify to win the daily cash prize of $1,000 by entering the following word online at WSGW.com. The word this hour is Chicago. You can fly to Chicago from MBS. It's an Alpha Media Company-wide contest. You must be 18 or older to play. One winner chosen each day. Complete rules at WSGW.com. It's Baseball Bucks presented by Stone Specialists on WSGW. Take a moment to tell you about Krejak's House Family Restaurant. Proud to be a business that serves the area with the finest in dining and takeout services. And grateful for all of you who have supported them over their many, many years. They look forward to serving you. And every day, of course, is takeout day at Krejak's from 11 to 7, Friday and Saturdays, 11 to 8. Monday's closed, Krejak's House Family Restaurant at the corner of Cass in Michigan on Bay City's south side. For takeouts, reservations, parties, and events, call 
three, one. Krijax. For almost 20 years, Linex has been the only place to go for quality spray-on bed liner. But did you know they also offer rust proofing and undercoating? Their exclusive process will keep your newer used vehicle protected. The guys at Linex have the only wax-based rust proofing and military spec undercoat to ensure years of protection. In fact, all new vehicles protected will get a lifetime warranty. No yearly touch-ups required. And because their rust proofing process is wax-based, you from dripping or mess to clean up later. Rust proof your car, truck, or SUV and protect it year round. Linex is located in Wilder Road in Bay City. Give them a call at 989 671 9820 or call them at their Grand Blank location, 810 695 9000. Remember, your new car, truck, or SUV gets a lifetime warranty with no yearly touch up required. Again, the number in Bay City is 989 671 9820 or in Grand Blank, 810 695 9,000. Are you ready for a new vehicle? Let us help you finance your dreams at United Financial Credit Union. We've made the car shopping process even easier. Research and compare vehicles, receive free Carfax reports, get an insurance quote, and view local dealer inventory all from the comfort of your own home with the auto shopping feature on our website. Simply visit our website today to start shopping for your next vehicle. If you've already found your perfect vehicle, auto loan started we can help you get on the road in your new car and for a limited time you can enjoy 90 days with no payments some restrictions may apply see credit union for details federally insured by the ncua we're where you work where you live united financial credit union we're proud of confectioners. It's the memories you'll make using it that will matter the most. Pioneer sugar, pure and all natural, made from sugar beets grown right here. What could be? Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. Major League Baseball's back, and we're going to play 162 games. Tigers, baseball is back. <laughs> time out, time out. <sighs> Hang on. First, you got to adjust the batting gloves. Now, fix the belt. Oh, and, and the hat. Okay, right, now, Tigers baseball is back. It feels great to be back and just excited to get things going. Get the latest from spring training and coverage all season long. Your home for the Tigers is WSGW. This is the premier kitchen and bath gallery showroom and design center studios of WSGW. All right, we're back here on WSGW talking to James Kanders, the airport director for MBS International Airport. James, you mentioned staffing of the airlines. What does the public need to know if they see a schedule change? Uh, well, the best thing is to constantly be keeping an eye on uh, the, the upcoming schedules for flights and understand that the airlines are having to change things around last minute sometimes and that can be your last minute cancellations um so you, unfortunately the traveling public can expect some some unexpected delays uh due to that uh how about the airport itself any staffing problems at the airport at the airport itself uh no we seem to be doing well um we are still affected by some concession closures due to staffing, uh, such as rental cars, and we're working to to get that issue resolved. But uh, like everyone else, the, even the rental cars are having trouble getting uh, the adequate staff to, to operate. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? It absolutely yeah. is amazing. So if you um, had a magic wand and you could wave it over MBS International Airport and create something, what would it be? Oh man, that's a tough question. Um, well, uh, if I had a magic wand, I would uh, like to get a little more uh, diversity in operations out here. I would love to have uh, some cargo operations uh, going on. We've got uh, that Amazon facility is going in Buena Vista, and, and uh, it'd be nice to have something partnered up with them um, to 
to get some more flight cargo coming in and out of MBS. Uh, that would uh, allow us to weather any kind of storm like COVID again in the future. Do you get cargo now at all? We have a little bit of minimal cargo coming in through uh, UPS and FedEx, but it's uh, we have the facilities here to accommodate larger cargo where that old terminal used to be. We could uh, build some things up. We'd have to develop the infrastructure and roadways accessing the airport uh, to assist with that, but uh, the potential is there. And how about uh, you know, the civil aviation uh, and uh, ground operations? Uh, you have room for folks in their airplanes? Uh, definitely do. Uh, we have a, a lot of, as I said, a lot of ramp space for general aviation aircraft to come in and a lot of space to build if they want to uh, build hangars or things of that nature. And uh, excited at the possibility of people approaching us on that. And in terms of, uh, in terms of current flights, how many are we running out of uh, MBS right now? Well, currently we are running about four uh, Delta operations a day and one or two uh, United operations a day. Uh, that's cut back, of course, due to staffing levels. It's this staffing thing has really been a problem for the airlines, hasn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, you're starting to see increased bonuses for uh, a lot of airline personnel to bring them in. And people are shuffling around uh, all over the industry, but uh, it's a bit of a backlog and you don't have enough people uh, being trained to, to fill those gaps in a lot of the regional airlines. Mm. If people want more information about MBS, where can they go? They can go to uh, www.mbsairport.org, and we also have a Facebook page that's linked on that website. All right, and the last major question of the year, will there be an MBS golf outing? <laughs> yes, I'm actually going to be calling our, our, our golf course Beach Hollow here later this week to confirm with the time and date. All right. I'll be looking forward to it. James, Thank listen, you. as always, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Art. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. Too. James Canders, he is the airport director for MBS International Airport. We thank him for joining us this morning. We'll uh, take a break, come back and finish up, and move on to the market report from Baird & Company. While you're comfortable inside your home or business, the weather takes a toll on your roof. Wind, rain, hay 